Yes, guys. Now, there's so many new releases I could have gone for this week. We've had the Jordan 4s. We've had the Noctas. I think there's been a few dunks as well. I thought I'd go for an Air Jordan 1 Low. Now, it is a woman's pair. It's this Jade Smoke colorway. I think this one actually looks really clean. So we're going to get straight into this one and check them out. Yes, guys, so this is going to be the first video where I take on all of your feedback that you've been giving me. So looking away from the camera, not looking at the lens as much, also blinking. Um, and also I was taking a few breaths as well whilst I'm saying, uh, so, you know, specific words, things like that. Just so I can just sort of slow the pace of the video down for you guys. So I'm going to try my best to work in this video and obviously implement all those things that you've suggested. Massive thank you though to you guys, obviously, because I know that means that you're trying to help the channel grow. Um, you're trying to help my approach, obviously, how I do these videos. So I do really appreciate that. So this is going to be the first video where I try and do all three of those things. And hopefully as we do more videos, I'm going to get better and better at those three things. So yeah, massive thank you. And hopefully this video uh, improves over time and we see an improvement for those three things. Uh, something I will say as well, um, the date of making this video, obviously there's no extended sizing available on the Nike website. They only got to a nine and a half in the UK. Uh, I've noticed on like a few videos I've made in the past, Three or four months later, you guys get in the comments and you say uh, you can actually get them now in extended sizing. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd let you know, obviously currently in the UK, only go up to a nine and a half, which is a shame in my opinion. So whilst we're on that point then guys, you can get them on the Nike website for 120 pounds in the UK. Uh, I found a 10% student code. Uh, so if you go onto uni days, uh, obviously you have to be a student or know someone who's a student. Uh, you can actually get 10% off this one. Uh, I think that's until the end of May. They've got 10% off any Jordans. Um, so yeah, you can, if you can find a code, obviously I'm not a student myself, so I can't give codes out or anything like that. Not that I'd do that anyway. Um, but yeah, you can go on the Nike website and you can get 10% off this one, which is obviously, what, 12 pounds. It's not a crazy sum of money. Um, but yeah, that's a discount. I thought I'd let you know in the videos. I mean, some of you might have, uh, you know, daughters, sons, whatever, that go to college or something like that. Yeah, you can get 10% off this one. So moving on to sizing and comfort. So I've got to be honest with you guys, um, being that this is a woman's pair, I mean, it's kind of difficult for me to let you know, you know, if this one is true to size or not. I would recommend going true to size. Um, I think you'll have no issues there. Uh, but being that it's a woman's pair, you might want to go a half size up. I mean, for me, because it's a full size down, I can't really let you know. I can't really give you like an honest opinion. Um, maybe go to a shop try on a few pairs, I mean, see see how they fit. I mean, there might be some other other YouTubers that have a review on this pair um, that can give you their honest opinion. Um, I mean, there might not be, uh, but yeah, for this one, I would go your regular Jordan 1 low size. If you usually get uh, women's pairs and that you have like, uh, want the men's conversion, then just do obviously like your regular men's conversion. If you usually go a half size down for women's pairs or a half size up, whatever, um, I would do that for this one as well. Um, and then moving on to comfort. With the materials, obviously it's it's comfortable enough. There's nothing too crazy going on with this pair as far as comfort. I mean, the ankle padding is just the same as what you'd expect on a Jordan 1 low. Um, but for that 120 pound price point, the materials are kind of just okay. Uh, so the comfort obviously matches that. I mean, little toe, toe test. I mean, it's not like really stiff. Um, but yeah, as you can imagine for 120 pounds, it's not the, 
it's not uncomfy, um, but it's just not the most comfortable Jordan 1 low ever. Uh, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's how I'd put it. Obviously, I'm still getting used to taking breaths um, and make sure I'm blinking, things like that. So I'm probably rambling in this one. But maybe you're seeing uh, me for me uh, and not these like quick clips where I'm obviously speaking really fast and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect on a Jordan 1 low. Uh, a standard Jordan 1 low, not a premium one. Nothing too crazy going on here. Um, it's, yeah, it's soft enough. It's soft enough. And now I move on to laces. Now, unfortunately, you don't get any additional laces in the box. It is just a sort of standard Air Jordan 1 low. So for that £120 price point, you don't get any additional laces in the box. But you know, on this channel, I'll always try and do that extra mile for you guys. So I have done a little lace swap there, just so you can see the difference. Uh, now, as I just said, obviously you don't get any additional laces in the box. That is just me trying to switch it up for you guys. Here's a close up of the black as well. I do think though, if you can get like a jade pair of laces, I think that would really pop. I think that would just look so nice. What I've noticed as well, for Jordan 1 lows for women's, they always come laced. Is that is that just normal? Uh, every time I pick up a men's Jordan 1 low, or just a men's Jordan in general, I've always had to lace it myself, which look, I know is only like a, a like a five minute job. It's a little bit tedious here and there, especially when you pick up like eight pairs of shoes a month like I do. Um, but yeah, always come laced. Uh, it's just something I wanted to point out, bit of an odd one. So being the fact they're only £120, it's not that premium price range. Um, so I guess you can expect not to get any laces in this one. But yeah, I thought I'd just switch them up for you guys, just so you can just sort of see um, the difference. Uh, and obviously anything I can do to help you uh, make a decision on a pair of shoes, you know, whether you want to buy them or not, I'll always try and cover it in the channel. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do a little lace swap, just so you guys can obviously see the difference there. Uh, but yeah, I do think if you get a jade pair, put a jade pair on this pair. Obviously I don't have a pair of jade uh, laces to hand. Um, but I do think a J pair would go so nice on this colorway. So like I always do then guys, we'll do some close-ups, we'll do an unboxing, we'll do a review, and we'll cover all areas. So starting off the box, we've got an all white box with this gold Jumpman logo in the middle. Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone told me to start showing the labels as well. Uh, so I'm more than happy to do that, just so you can see all the colors. Uh, you can see the size difference, things like that on there as well. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you feel I'm missing in the videos, you just let me know. I'm more than happy to do it, as long as it flows well in the video. Of course I'm happy to do that. Now this is the pair fresh out the box. Um, as mentioned, unfortunately no additional laces in the box. Um, I know I did cover the little lace swap there as well, um, but we'll just do it again. For those of you who might have sort of skipped to this part of the video, uh, here's a lace swap. Um, now as mentioned, you don't get any additional laces in the box, but yeah, that's what they look like with black, uh, and that's what they look like with white. I would personally go for the white, but the black looks kind of nice as well. And then moving on to this outer sole. Now the outer sole is an all black color. It's not like a jet black. It's kind of got this sort of gray tint to it. I kind of like it though. And it goes really well with that midsole. Now the midsole is in this sort of off-white um, sail color. It does actually look really nice. It's not like an aged effect like the atmosphere grays. It doesn't have that sort of stained effect to it. Um, it is just a sail outer sole but it does have a sort of a retro vibe to this one. I'm a massive fan of the outer sole and the midsole. And then moving on to the upper of the shoe. Now the upper of the shoe and the base consist of three main colors. We've got black, white, and this clear jade. We're just gonna call it jade, uh, but it's listed as a clear jade. I think those colors go together really well, especially with that sail midsole. Um, I think they go together really well. What's your thoughts though? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna show you a comparison as well for some other Jordans, um, just so you can see the leather quality there. It's not the worst leather quality, it's definitely not the best, but in comparison to other Jordans, it's actually quite nice. So when I'm talking leather quality, this is a toe area test for you guys. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly soft. Uh, now it isn't the best leather, as I've mentioned, it hasn't got that sort of premium feel to it, but it is a soft leather. Um, I know some of you are gonna say the materials are really bad on this one, but the materials, uh, it's nothing crazy. However, um, obviously in comparison to my uh, Armoury Blues, I wear this pair quite a lot, so these are probably gonna be dirty. These are really stiff, like that's a stiff toe box, um, considering I've worn this one quite a lot as well. Uh, we've got the uh, Royal Toe 2.0s, I call them. Um, this is another stiff leather. Um, so it's better leather quality than, than both of those. Like this leather quality, as I said, is, is nice and soft. It just isn't premium, but it is a soft leather. And then moving on to, I mean, this is the worst leather quality I've ever seen. This is a pair of Celtics that I've, I'd never really wear this pair. I mean, this isn't a Jordan, I know, um, but that's like awful leather quality. This is this is terrible. It's stiff, it creases really badly. So yeah, I mean, the leather quality, as I said, it isn't the worst, 
there's obviously way le way worse leather qualities out there um but yeah definitely not premium but i thought i'd just do a little comparison for you guys i'd probably give this like a uh like a six and a half um whereas i'd probably rate this maybe like a three really stiff the reason i'm doing that comparison as well uh, is just because obviously you guys are going to spend your hard-earned money um, and I know it's only 120 pounds, but you want to know exactly what you're getting, what materials you're getting, um, is it worth the money? So I thought I'd do a little comparison for you. Hopefully it shows you the materials of this one, it shows you the leather quality, um, but yeah, we'll get straight back into it. So the rest of the shoe, you've got these white leather overlays, same again, I mean the leather quality isn't anything amazing, um, but it's okay. Uh, as you say, it's, 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 uh, it's soft enough, um, it's definitely nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, the white leather overlays work their way all the way around to the back of the shoe. At the back of the shoe, you've got this stitched Air Jordan logo, which same again, I mean, it's, it's exactly what you'd expect to see on an Air Jordan 1 low. Um, but yeah, here at the back, you can see all the colors that have been used there. I think these colors go together really well. Look, for £120, the materials are, they're okay. Um, it's, it's definitely not a premium shoe, but yeah, the materials on this one, they're, they're good enough. There's better shoes out there. But if you like this colorway, I definitely recommend picking this one up. So yeah, there's nothing too crazy going on with this pair. I've got to be honest with you, it's just a standard Jordan 1 low, as standard as it gets. You've got this jade swoosh, um, which does add a little bit of extra character to the shoe. Just zoom in there for you guys. I kind of wish they had a jade uh, Jumpman logo at the top of the tongue. Um, obviously you've got a white Jumpman logo, which does look kind of nice. But yeah, I think your jade would just be something a little bit different, add a little bit more detail on the shoe. Uh, I think jade laces as well would really make this one pop. That is just my opinion though. Let me know though, would you go for white laces? Would you go for black? Maybe jade? Uh, interested to hear your thoughts on the laces. And then moving on to the tongue, it's a standard Jordan 1 tongue. Um, I mean, the padding, it's just exactly what you'd expect to see on a Jordan 1. I mean, it's, it's not the most padded. Um, obviously, if you've got a pair of Jordan 1s, uh, like a standard pair, like obviously I've got the uh, Royal Low 2.0s, I call them. Um, it's this exactly the same tongue on, on these. Um, it's the same as my Armoury Blues, things like that. It's, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not too padded. It's, it's comfortable enough. Um, as I said, for £120, you're not going to get the most padded, comfortable, premium materials used. You're going to get a nice enough colourway that's probably going to last you if you're going to rotate this one. You know, maybe you're going to rotate this, you've got other pairs of shoes that you can obviously wear, things like that. Then this is the one that you should pick up. If this is going to be your pair of shoes Monday to Sunday, I probably wouldn't pick it up. Um, because obviously after a while it's just going to get really creased, they're going to look quite bad, as, as most Jordans and most standard dunks do nowadays. And as we move on to the inner of the shoe, uh, the pad in here, uh, the inner lining, obviously all white, it's, it's fairly padded. Um, same again, I mean it's, 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 not a pre it's not listed as a premium Jordan, so you can't expect it to be too padded. It's, it's comfortable enough, as you can see there. Um, you've obviously got some pad in there. The inner sole uh, in black, and obviously you've got that Jumpman logo in white, which does look kind of clean. Um, I find after a while the Jumpman logo just sort of peels off. Um, yeah, for these standard pairs, obviously, as I said, the, the quality is it's, it's not premium. Um, it's sort of like just below premium, for, for this pair anyway. Uh, so yeah, that is obviously the inner of the shoe. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a separate segment for the back of the shoe. Now the back of the shoe, the stitching is actually the same color as this uh, outer sole. So it's not like a jet black. It's got this sort of gray tint to it. Hopefully you can see that there. Uh, the stitching quality, it's, it's okay. Um, I think the stitching quality on this one is a little bit better. Let me just zoom in for you guys. Yeah, stitching on that one's a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, something I will say as well though, let me just zoom out. The quality control on this pair is, is actually flawless. Um, I, I always cover the quality control. I'll always obviously let you know. Now the materials as mentioned, it's, it's nothing crazy, but there's no glue marks. There's no like stitching that's sort of off or marked or anything like that. Uh, quality control on this pair, I've got to say, is actually pretty good. If you can get this one in the sale, maybe, you know, 20, 30 pounds less, then yeah, definitely pick this one up. It's, it's not a bad shoe. Um, obviously there's better shoes out there, but you're gonna pay obviously more to get a premium Jordan 1 low. If you're on a budget and this one's in the sale, pick this one up. So this is gonna be the last video I make uh, in the bungalow. Uh, we're actually going to be moving to an Airbnb uh, or a hotel or something like that for the next two or three weeks, um, which is a shame, but I'm going to have to do reviews in a hotel. 
so hopefully, as I said, the next couple of videos are going to be a bit all over the place. Um, I'm still going to be doing that. I'm still going to be uploading content, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, um, we're going to be moving into the new house, hopefully mid-May, end of May, something like that, in which I'll have like a whole different studio. Um, obviously, all the background's going to change. I'll have a whole studio room to do these sneaker reviews. Uh, currently, I'm in this sort of like corner uh, of the bungalow, um, which corner of the living room. So it's it's really like small and compact. Uh, but obviously, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to move. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a stressful couple of weeks. So this is going to be the last video in the bungalow, the last time you'll see this as a background. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for it. Um, give it a month or so. And I'm just gonna, the videos are gonna be so much better. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so just just wait, stay tuned. Um, but that's the update on the move. I should be going to the Airbnb on the 24th or the 25th of April, um, in which I'll be there for two, three weeks. I'll still do uh, videos though, as I've said, and the giveaway should be posted on the 24th or the 25th. So I've got to move out of here on the 24th. Um, so, I'll do my best to get that video up, but as you can imagine, I've got to make that video. Um, so it might be the 25th that it's posted. Uh, but yeah, obviously we can find out who obviously wins the giveaway uh, for that dunk. Uh, I believe it's down here. Uh, obviously you get a size of your choice. Um, so yeah, we've got a giveaway for this pair. Uh, so you can find that video, obviously you can still enter, but that's up to the 24th of April. Uh, so that's just a little bit of an update on that. Um, it's going to be its own video, so it will just be a giveaway video. Um, I'm not going to do a giveaway as well as a review, because um, I think people will just switch off after the giveaway bit. Uh, so yeah, it will just be its own video, probably a two, three minute. Um, I'll put every single username on a wheel, uh, we'll spin it, and then we'll find out who the winner is. Uh, so good luck. Uh, hopefully it's one of you. I'm a sh it's a shame, obviously, that we can't do like 10 winners, um, but obviously the videos don't make any money. But like, hang tight. Uh, obviously in time we're going to have as we hit more milestones we can do just more crazy giveaways maybe at 2500 we could do two pairs or three pairs and then 5000 we could do five pairs something like that that's not a promise um but yeah if the channel just can like excels then obviously we can do better giveaways um and obviously once the videos start making money as well um then there's more money to put back into the channel uh for like equipment things like that uh more shoes uh so yeah exciting times ahead uh so yeah wait until the 24th um, and that's obviously when the giveaway ends. Video should be out on the 25th. So yeah, that pretty much covers this one. Um, hopefully in this video, you can see I've made some improvements. Um, I'm looking at the shoes and I'm looking away from the camera lens because uh, I know as some of you said, it gets a little bit intimidating where I'm constantly staring at you guys. But I just want to say I do appreciate it. Um, obviously being a new YouTuber, um, I don't really view or watch my videos. So it's nice that you guys are getting on board and, and helping me and how I can adapt my videos, things like that. So I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that does get in the comments. Uh, when you give me feedback, when you just say nice stuff. Um, it's nice that people like go out of their way to say something nice in a video. I mean, you don't have to do that. Um, obviously, the people that do, I mean, that's just, just everything that I could ask for. So I do really appreciate it. So I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys. Um, and if you're new around here, maybe this video helped you out, helped you make a decision on this pair. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. I mean, the next one's going to be in a like a hotel or something, as I've mentioned. But I will catch you in the next one. And that will be the giveaway winner. Um, but until next time, cheers.